claustrophobia, ghosts and complete darkness, 24 hours underground. What is it? Haunted. People usually associate ghosts with old buildings, castles and graveyards, but you'd be amazed at just how many strange places ghost sightings are reported. And one such place is here, an old disused underground station in London, and it's called Old Witch. There are 40 abandoned stations on the underground network, and Oldwich is the most intriguing of them all. The station was built in 1907 and was known then as the Strand, as it was built on the site of the old Royal Strand Theatre. It's said the ghost of a young actress has been seen on many occasions. Maybe she refuses to take her last curtain call. The Strand, or Oldwich, as it was known later, was closed for most of World War II and used as an air raid shelter. It became a second home to many Londoners of all classes and ages, sheltering each night from the bombs and destruction above. Given the strong associations with the Second World War, we thought this would be the ideal location to conduct a time slip experiment. Some experts in the paranormal field believe that surrounding yourselves with the costumes and artifacts of a particular period can induce time itself to replay. By spending 24 hours in the tunnels of the London Underground, we hope to experience some kind of paranormal activity. Are there any souls still present believing that the war never ended? Will we meet the lady who walks the platforms, or would the dark, claustrophobic tunnels get the better of us? Jason, I know you think it's a little bit strange that I made you wear this outfit, but I have heard that if you wear uniforms, costumes from the past, it, it can entice paranormal activity. Well, it's not scientific at all, obviously. It's great fun, and I think if you look at the histories and studies that have been taken place of places where people reenact the past, like manor houses where they have Tudor reenactments, etc., you do get a lot of alleged paranormal phenomena happening when people are in fancy dress and people are reenacting the past. So it might, if you believe in ghosts, make something more happen. Apart from that, I think it's good fun anyway. Now, Jason, you normally bring the EMF reader with you, don't you, and other bits of equipment, but you're not going to be using any of those tonight, are you? Well, no, there's a lot of natural electric energy around here because of the electricity in the tunnels which power the train, so we won't be able to detect any unusual fluctuations. Now, we've caught things like orbs. We know that they're connected with haunted places. Do you think that maybe we might catch anything here tonight? Not just orbs, but any paranormal activity, because it seems very sort of cold and empty. I think what's more likely to happen here is that people will just become irrationally scared because of the dark, because it's cold, and because of the rats. And how little did Jason know that he would be the first to succumb to that irrational fear? We had our usual crew with us, but we needed the help of our spiritualist medium, Derek Akora, who would be arriving later. All of us got the feeling we were going to need all the help we could get in trying to find any supposed ghosts. We've been down numerous tunnels. You've got new guys with you. They do get a bit worried. You get a nervous energy. They get nervous. And as soon as you hear, they hear anything, that's it. And they just don't know what's in front of them. And also, they don't know what's behind them. Yeah, I believe in ghosts. This is the eeriest place I think I've ever been to. It's just so quiet. And hardly anybody ever comes here anymore. If you imagine what it must have been like during World War II when the air raid went off and everybody rushed down here to get to the platform and to feel safe. But I think another reason why I feel very frightened is because it's so dark. It's very, very cold and very, very quiet. And this is the very platform where the supposed ghost of the actress is said to walk. A 
1907, the Strand Station was opened. But strangely enough, it was never very popular with the public. And within 10 years, the Eastern Tunnel, that's the one I'm standing on now, was closed down and fell into disuse. Now, out of all the tunnels that we're visiting tonight, this one in particular has an incredibly weird feel to it. And a lot of cold spots have been reported here and very eerie feelings. Before we started our investigation, we had to get a few things straight. This was to be one of the most dangerous places we were to spend the night, and safety was paramount. I don't know which, which tunnel we want to go down. We want to go down all of them, don't we? Yeah, uh, we've got problems with actually walking on rails. Yeah, even though there's no electricity, yeah. um, we can't walk on the rails. We've, we've got to be very careful about that. And I think what, what we may do, if everybody's happy with that, is to split up into small groups. I mean, let's face it, we're going to be wandering through the tunnels of the London Underground. I mean... People will think they experience things here because it's, again, it's the irrational fear of the dark. But here, rather than having the moon and perhaps a street light, we've got absolute, complete pitch darkness without our torches and that will mm. instil a lot of fear. It's going to be great. Do you know the most frightening thing is, is that Barry is going to be locking us in no, I, he's giving me the key. Uh, <laughs> well done! <laughs> so we're going to be locking you in and he said, is that all right? And I went, yeah. Well, like, oh, well, what would happen as well if there's an emergency? Yeah. You know, we can't yeah. get out. <laughs> I have heard a story that this station we know was built on the site of a theatre. The theatre was actually demolished to make way for the station. Construction started in 1898, the actual station being opened in 1907. Um, allegedly, in those days, each, each uh, theatre had its own leading lady, and the actress of the day objected most strongly to the theatre being demolished, and one assumes that this is now the young lady who uh, has still got a presence here. But I'm very much hoping that this uh, activity will prove the point one way or the other, um, and it will be very interesting to see the results that it particularly is obtained from your medium. Fast. Having had no idea where he was being brought to, our spiritualist medium, Derek Akora, had eventually arrived. What do you think of this place then, eh, Derek? Well, this is different of it, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. I mean, it's quite stunned me, really. Um, there's energy, most definitely energy, residual energy. Um, I'm also being made aware of a lady, a lady who comes here. Yeah. And what I feel about her is that this is the way she puts the feelings on me now, mm -hmm. is if there she is, she's ten characters. Not one. People who've been down here in the physical, living people at times, mm. are run out of here scared because of this lady. Because she walks mm. and she comes along the tracks and she says, can they see me? Can they see me? And they're cleaning away. Oh my God! <laughs> and they run <laughs> like this. And I pick over all it because she's reenacting this with me. Mm. Have these cleaners actually seen this girl? Yes. First name Sam says of Margaret. 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 Do you know when this when this is? How long ago are we talking? Oh god. <laughs> I feel um wow, it must be way back because I feel as if the station's not here. Right. It's not here. It's going back. There's another lady who she's talking to Sam about. She's the old lady who's white of hair. She's elderly. And she lost her life further on. But, um, Do you want to walk further Yes, on? please, could we? Because yeah. I feel as if we want to go further. There's nothing at all, as I'm walking this atmosphere, there's nothing of what we call negative feeling. Do you not sense, like, a portion of um, people, a lot of people, uh, all huddled together? And it's like, I want to go back to... Um, the Second World War time and what have you, and I feel there was uh, bundles of people, massing men, women, children, 
all coming and lying and, and trying to be safe from the bombings. And there's... The little lady, who's the white hair, the elder lady. lady, she saved a man in other tunnels. And, you know, had she not gone and touched the man across his head to bless him, a few minutes later, he could have died and walloped with voltage in his body. But by her touching him, she put that spiritual protection. Okay. Oh, thank you. She was seen doing it on a number of occasions. She's been... The vision was seen. What's her name, Derek? Oh, God, OK. I'm trying. I know, I'm trying. We walk, Can we just want him to come and yeah. see if it comes yeah. to you? OK. So Derek had picked up on the actress, but who was she and could Derek give us any more information? And once the lights were turned off, would we be able to cope with total darkness? <laughs> Even though Derek had already picked up on the actress that is said to haunt the platform, we needed more information. Jason? Mm. I got Margaret. Yeah. And then suddenly it's been given to me as Estelle. I, I feel that could be the middle name because on top of that, it sounded like Margaret, Estelle, sounded like Bryce. Okay. Or Bright. It's one of those, those three names together. Right, keep walking down here then, maybe. I'm aware that there's also a man. He gives me the name, Sam gave me the name very clearly. Golden Tom, well-known, very thin man. Quite tall, actually. And he used to take care um, of something to do with the rails, lines, and what have you. And he often walks up and down, up and down. Now, he has got a way about him that's neither bad nor good. He had a seizure down here. And it just went? Yeah. Oh, I'm not happy about it at all. Oh, we happy I'm to turn the lights off? I, honestly, I'm very happy. I know <laughs> you're happy. And, you're all right. Let's ask them to come on. That's, we're here. Show us action! Jason, I'm not sure whether you'd like me to say this on camera, but you're not that happy about it. No, I'm not that happy, but Why? I don't think it's anything to do with ghosts. No. I just think it, it's extremely quiet down here. It's, we've been down here all day. It's a very depressing environment, and I don't think that's anything other than You've been a bit depressed today. I've been quiet. Why? I don't know. Perhaps the ghosts. OK, all right, let's turn the lights off then. I'm, I'm, I really am not happy about it one <laughs> bit. I'm not. I'm not no. really happy, actually. Oh, well... <laughs> My suggestion of splitting into small groups didn't go down too well with the crew, and after a lengthy discussion, it was decided that we were all to stick together. But before we set off down the tunnel, Stuart R. Rigger had developed a motion detector that he'd set up along the platform where the actress is set to walk. Keep your eyes on Jason and watch how quickly the fear sets in. Can you stop us for a second? Yeah. Because I just want to just know what it's like to be down here. Yeah. Just turn your torches off. Turn your torch off. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This has oh my been an atmosphere. Oh, my God. Just look behind Shh. you. Just look a little bit. Yeah. What? Oh, my God. Listen, listen. Listen. Shh, don't move. Was no, no, I said something. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the further we walked into the tunnel, the more nervous we all became. 
we had to be careful not to let our imaginations run away with us. As we went through a doorway at the end of the first stretch of tunnelling, some of us thought we saw a shadowy figure walking from left to right across the bottom of the second stretch of tunnelling. What is it? What I saw, I'm not kidding you, it was like something moving across the bottom, like black. <coughs> Mm. Moving across. Yeah, as if, as if it's going into the wall. Well, I don't know, I just saw something moving. Yeah, but not small, quite like yeah. high, yeah, high, high up, how high above the ground? Well, I'll no, say about that. About that. Here, yeah. about my height. I saw that. So obviously it wasn't it was a rat. Small. No, 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 I'm not, not talking a rat. about a rat. So no, 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 you see my car is now. That's right, Carl. Just another doorway down here. Yeah, but that's what I saw. It was like somebody, like Carl, is there. Are we all happy to go down? There? Yeah, yeah. 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 Single file, please. Yeah. So, had we seen something or not? Were the shadows playing tricks on our eyes? And Jason was getting more and more nervous. <laughs> you alright, Jason? <laughs> Don't you dare you! <laughs> the tunnel seemed to stretch on forever, and we had no idea when or where it was going to bring us out. But our curiosity had got the better of us, and we just kept going. Look at this. That's our train. Yeah. Wow. You're right, Jason. Mm -hmm. further, so I think we should head back because we hit the end of the line. It was great there, wasn't it? I didn't know the train would be right at the end. Step car. Yeah, everyone. So we could go no further, and we were relieved that we could start the long walk back. But as we reached the platform, something unexpected happened. The motion detector had been set off on the other platform. Is it still being oh, set off? Nobody, nobody, nobody else has been down here. Oh, yeah, on here. There'll be a rational explanation. They'll come back and say somebody knocked it. Yeah, but then you say, well, if no one's down here, who knocked it? And why are they still going? Are you right? Yeah. Mm. But Stuart's there, which is good, because he knows how it works, so he can check them. You can see there's a red beam going across. You can actually see the dust particles now, but that's not setting it off. Um, the only way you can set that off is if an object actually breaks a beam itself, and that's why it's buzzing now like it is. Now, I set this up before, and um, it's actually still spot on now. It's just in line. So something has set this off? Something has set it off now, yeah. Oh. And we were all upstairs. And we, were, and we were all in the, in the other tunnel there, yeah. yeah. We do know the beam was too high off the ground to be triggered by a rat. So had the ghost of the actress walked along the platform and caused the motion detector to go off? We will never know. A few of us wanted to sit and see if she would come back and show herself. Unfortunately, nothing happened. It wasn't until later, when we viewed the tapes, that our editor, Neil, discovered two strange occurrences. One was this strange light which appeared at the top of the screen and seemed to move towards us in three stages. The second was captured at 4.30 in the morning when our producer, Carl, went down the same tunnel on his own. These have been described as orbs, which are said to be the first manifestation of a spirit. Could these strange events be related to the ghostly happenings of Oldwich Station?
It hasn't been the most enjoyable of investigations I've taken part in. It's not nice down here, I don't like it. I've been down here all day, there's no sunlight. Now, I've lived in London a lot of my life and I don't mind the underground, but this really has quite depressed me. I'm glad to get out of here. It's quite scary being in a place that's deadly silent, deathly silent. And I think, although I can't rationalize my fear that I felt when we were walking down the tunnels, I, I, I'm not convinced that it's paranormal or anything other than something to do with my subconscious that I don't understand, but I won't come down here again. Well, I, I was uh, quite pleased um, for when I first come on the investigation, um, when I come to this level, because I was immediately made aware of a woman's presence and she made me feel as if I was on the stage. She took me back in thought to a stage. She was an actress and, you know, that made me feel ever so good. So I take it that the theatre was very, very, very strong linked with these foundations here. I'd carefully noted Jason. He was talking about this sense of foreboding. It appeared that if we looked at Jason's clothing, uh, especially the um, army coat, energies are actually part of the clothing that people wore and, you know, this could have been the feelings that were running through. The man whose coat Jason has been wearing, was he going to die? Normally on these investigations, both for most haunted and, and just in normal investigations that I carry out, I am the person who is rational, I am the person who's telling everyone else to calm down. Yvette, on these events, is the person who's screaming and getting carried away. And we had a complete role reversal in that tunnel. I was the scared little boy, for want of a better phrase, and she was basically telling me to calm down, there was nothing to be scared of, and I thought that was very interesting. I can't quite, I can't quite fathom that, but I'm glad she was there. The last 24 hours have been interesting, to say the least, not just for me, but for every member of the crew. These deserted platforms and tunnels may not look much, but they hold many powerful memories for many people.